so here we are once again back on the football field the grass is looking a little greener today's gonna be day 15 of hitting the football field so we're gonna see what uh, what today holds so far we found a lot of great stuff off this field it's been fantastic so we'll see uh, what else we can find we'll see you on the first signal all right so this signal right here is giving us a we're getting a 58 to a 64 could be a penny we'll see I see they came out here and marked a few things with the uh, possibly the sprinkler system Fifty-eight to sixty-four. Oh, for here on this side, might be a penny. We'll have to see. Yeah, something back up in here. Well, it's gonna be a little deeper. Now she really screaming. Okay, something right here. <clears throat> Seems a little bigger than normal. And that's about right. Our first signal is going to be a piece of can. So we'll check all our uh, dirt and stuff before we put it back. Okay. And we'll get that trash out the way. be our only signal right here okay we'll catch you on the next hole well I had just picked up a dime right here but I had to move I was over there in the middle and that sprinkler kicked on and like to drown at me that's a good thing I saw it in time was I, I was able to move but my, my detector got wet but uh that's all good it's waterproof just need a little wash okay just thought that was exciting to share get myself around it okay so we're picking up another one here seems fairly deep give me a I don't know it could be a nickel could be a could be a copper penny seems fairly deep we're gonna go ahead and pop this and see what we got happening that's just a metal detector falsing on the minerals on the ground as I walk around and lay a coil flat on the dirt. Okay, let's send the plug. It's not very big. Okay. So whatever it is right here, and it looks like it's iron. It's a little ribbit, but that Yep, that's it. It's a little uh, a little iron ribbit off of a football helmet or something like that. I was thinking it would be something a little bit more spicier than that, but let me take the whole take the plug one more time before we move on. It must seem like they got some kind of trash in the in the hole. I wasn't picking anything up with the pinpointer. Yeah. Something mineralized up in here. I don't know what it could be. Yeah, this could be a lot deeper and I want to dig, so we'll leave that be. And we'll move on. I was hoping it was something decent for the signal right here, but it was just a another little rivet off a football helmet or, or apparel or something like that. But, all right, on to the next signal. 
All right, so we're trucking along, and I got a repeatable signal. Give me a 38 to a 51. Could be a pull tab, but it's not that deep, but it's too deep for the pinpointer to hit. So it must be a fair sized target, and I'm I'm using sensitivity 18, so it's down there a little bit, a little piece. So we'll pop this plug and. Well, I said it was, it's giving me a repeatable target, but it's down there. Must be a pretty big target to give me a repeatable. Right here in the side. Oh, right there. And look at that. This is about, about as old school as old school can get for a pull tab. That is unbelievable. I thought I was sure hoping it'd be something different besides a pull tab. But it is what it is. All right. Nothing else in that hole. Must have been a really good pull tab to give me a repeatable signal at six inches deep. Pressing on. Okay, so I got something that's giving me in the 12 to 14s in the iron tone. Well, it's not giving me that much of an iron tone. It's, give, it's giving me a, a jagged tone. Now it's giving me a 53 with the hole open, so it might be an old nickel. Because usually the old nickels tend to give you a fit like that. But then my luck, it might be a piece of can. Let's see what we And look what we got right here. We have... We have a type of... Oh, I know what that is. That's an anchor. That's an anchor. You drill a hole in concrete, you drive this in, and these two little deals right here split apart and anchored itself into cement. That's a cement anchor is what that is. All right. Concrete anchor for a post. For like a, a aluminum pole on like a awning or a carport or something like that. Okay, let's keep going. Would it be? Would it be another pull tab? 28 to 30. Repeatable signal. Sound like it's close to the surface. Either that or somebody dropped a nickel right here. So let's see what we... find out together shall we and that's what it is somebody dropped a nickel right here close to the surface all right let me get the get the dirt off of this thing we can have a look at it right here yep that's what it is that's uh Monticello on the back. That's a side face. This is 2000s, year 2000 something nickel. Not sure what the year is, but that's what it is. Nickel on the surface. All right, let's keep going. All right, picking up something pretty, fairly deep right here. With a 9091. So maybe a quarter. And usually something that's high tone that's pretty deep in this field has been some very good targets. So we're going to pop the top on this plug and see what lies below. Maybe just a quarter. Maybe just a deep quarter. Now it's giving me a 76 to 81 with the lid open. Now we gotta now we gotta find it. This is down here somewhere. It is down here somewhere. That it will be. So it's 
go ahead and jack the sensitivity up on a pinpointer. Let's see if we can perhaps hit it like that. Um, I'm gonna do, I'll go ahead and I'll excavate a little bit more soil out of this hole. We don't have to mess with all that. Probably try to get a hit on this thing. Okay, so we ended up we ended up getting it out the hole. So here we go, right here. We got it on that scoop. So we got us a quarter on that. It's an eagle quarter. Let's see what date we got. Ooh, she's patina bad. Okay, so the date ain't happening. The date's not happening. She's got a pretty dark patina on her right there. I just broke a little bit of the crust off to see the silver shine through. So, but I, oh, I see a date right here on the bottom. Let's see, I might get lucky and see that. 1993. 1993. Okay, so we good. Okay, cover this hole up and we'll move on. So we got another 63, 64. Another good high repeatable. I think it's close to the surface right here. We'll check it out and see. There we are. Maybe just another penny. But it's, uh, it's, a, it's in a solid numbers, though. A little deeper than what I thought it was gonna be. That's something right there. Let's get that out of there. There might be a piece of a piece of tin can or something. Is what it is? Yeah. That's another piece of aluminum. Bottom to a tin can, soda can, beer can, some kind of can. It's all the rest of deteriorated, dissolved away. All right. We'll double check our hole. Make sure we're good. But it seemed like a good screaming signal. That's what it told me. It was something kind of big. So, all right. Y'all have a... I'll okay. we'll catch you on the next one. All right. 27, 28, 30. Maybe a nickel right here we're shooting for. I just did another one here off camera. The signal wasn't too good. I figured it'd be trash. And it was just a, a ring pull. So... Oh look, swinging around, I got something right here that's on the surface. So let's see what this is. Just give me in the, in the 30s. Oh, that's the ring pull that I tried to put in my pouch and I missed. Okay. That's what it was. Yep, so I missed. So let's go ahead and get our plug out of here we'll see what this one's gonna be this one give us in a in the high 20s it might be a nickel it could be it's right here on the side yep and that's what it is it's giving us a nickel right here right in the side let me see if I can capture a year off her real quick if possible uh, at orange I can't see it the sun's not out it's dull out here looks like a maybe a 67 from the little bit I can see but my eyesight is not all that great which I've kind of stressed it a few times before all right smush her back down and go find another one this could be another one that's uh might be kind of deep might be a penny might be some aluminum cane it's uh it's not acting right the signal's kind of all over the place but we'll see let's see what it is if it's not too deep we can pull it out of there Huh, 
Well, now we don't have a signal. Sound like something's still in the hole, but it may not quite be on target. Oh yeah, here we are. We're right here in the bottom. Okay, so we have some type of uh, like an aluminum tent stick or something. I don't know. That's some kind of a it's a cast aluminum piece, but it's like a a stake or something like that would go in the ground and it's like it got broke off. Maybe a field stake or something like that. I don't know. Maybe the little deal they stick in the ground for uh, first down, second down, third down with a sign on it. No telling. Another piece of aluminum trash. Okay, I'll get that out the way. Let's move on. Okay, 59. 59, 60, 62. Okay, make sure we're on target here. It's five o'clock. Central Standard Time. All right, whatever it is, it's in the plug still. Yeah, well, I want to take this junk off the top and I get something right there but I don't know if that's it that's not it that's some kind of reflective tape or something like that okay let's get down to it uh -huh, it's a lot shallower in the plug than what I thought it would be It must be small. Right up in here. Now what is this? It is a piece of, oh, it's a piece of a zipper. Okay, it's the track. The pull is missing, but it's the track. The, the zipper goes up and down the zipper. Okay, that's what it is. All right, zipper pull piece. If I can hang on to it. So it wasn't that deep. It just didn't give me the right tone. I thought it would be deeper. <clears throat> so, okay. All right, catch you on the next one. All right, so we might have, a, might have another nickel here. Give me them in the 20s. 20s to 40 on the on the high side but I think it's just gonna be another nickel nickels out here give some crazy tones so it's, it's never always the same I think the alloy that they use for the nickels varied year to year so 38 to 42 hole open That's right here. Okay, so whatever it is, it's in this little, it's in this little clump. Oh, well, look at this. What we got? Oh my goodness! I cannot believe. I cannot believe. Look at this beautiful little gold ring. It's a little bit, it's a little bit on the warp side, but look at this beautiful little gold ring. Let me see here if I can get a, has an initial or inscription or something on the top. It is a letter B. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it is a letter B inscribed in there. I think it's a B or an R. It looks like, I don't know. They say BRS or something like that. That's around that. This is beautiful. This is look look at this. It's, 
it just barely fits on the end of my pinky oh this is fantastic man and it has a mark in it that says 10k yep I don't know if y'all can see it but it's right there it says 10k matter of fact it says I think it's 10k as small as it is it may be 18 hold on a minute I'm gonna get this on camera right here right now <clears throat> I gotta send this I'm gotta take a picture of somebody real quick So let me see if I can get a picture of the inside of this thing. Bear with me. Bear with me. And I'm going to see. Let me flip it over here. Let me flip it over here. And we're gonna look at this together. Look right there, people. You can see it right there on the thing. 10K. 10K. Ain't that beautiful? That's a beautiful little ring. I don't know what the weight is. It's not very heavy, but that's a beautiful little ring. I love it. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Hopefully we get a few more rings. This would be awesome. I'm all about to go, but aren't we all? That's for sure. Okay, cool. Right, another kind of. We're getting a signal. Another signal. It's not. It's not close to what we had with that gold ring just a little while ago there, but on our last target. But it's give us a little. A little hope for a nickel. I thought the last one was going to be a nickel, but it wasn't. It ended up being that gold ring. It's a little bit small gold ring. Barely fit on my pinky. On the end of my pinky. It was 10K. So this, uh... There's something in this hole. I don't know what it's going to be now. It's giving me a 30 with the hole open. Uh, it's going to be down there. A little piece seem like. Okay, get off. That clay is so sticky. Man, that stuff is... That stuff is so bad. Oh, man, that stuff is like glue. I can hit on it. I just need to get a hit on it. Probably back in this back corner. Yep, I'm off a little bit. It's back here. Okay. So it's in this clump of play though. Alright, and that's a piece of soda can. That's, yeah, it didn't sound like a real sprightly signal. So, piece of soda can. Yeah, drop it back in the hole, pick it out of there. Got it. Alright, move on to the next. Hopefully we get more rings in our future here. In our soon future. Now I think this one might be a nickel. So it's giving me that 20 to 32. So this one very well could be the a nickel I keep talking about. Yep. Yeah. We'll see. 32 with the hole open and the plug. Well, 
it may not be as deep as I thought it would be. It's not in them clumps. Okay, so it's right here. I tell you, man, this, this field here, I'm back at the football field. And this football field has been a field of dreams for me. Yeah, it's not. It's another one of those little uh, snap rivets with the little screws on the back for like a, for the football garments or something like that, apparel, straps or something like that. That's all it is. Okay. This field has been a field of dreams to me. So if, you, if you're if tuning in for today, which is day 15 of being on the field, go back and watch my other videos. All the way from the one that says hunting virgin territory. Because I tell you, every time I come on this field, it's always been, it's always been good. It starts off kind of slow, which it always does. It takes a little while to get some signals going, but the uh, the finds at the end, you know, it's just, it's just outstanding for just a single football field. But this field, this place has been here for a very long time, and nobody's ever hunted it. Nobody's ever metal detected it. So I called and got the permission. And I tell you what, it's, it's just been, it's been wonderful. So yeah, if y'all are catching it on today, day is uh, day 15, go back to the video that says uh, Virgin Territory. And uh, you'll start from there. And then you'll go day two, day three, and so forth. All right, catch you on the next signal. Okay, so I got something right here that's giving me a six, seven. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a piece of, uh, yeah, it's a piece of aluminum foil. Everybody keep hollering the goes, you know, goes down in like the five, six, sevens or whatever, but it may not be on this machine, because I'm telling you that everything I've been hitting 14K and 10K on this machine has been, everything has been in the pull tab range, 30, 31s, 28, 30, 40s, and various. The Xterra Pro is a whole different animal. So if you're looking for gold in the real low ranges, I'd advise you not to. If you're getting pull tabs, you better dig up every pull tab you hear. That's giving me a 15 to a 23 to a 32. So let's find out. That don't uh, don't think the gold is gonna be in a low range for this this metal detector because it's not. Every piece of gold I put in this thing was in a 28, 30, 31, to whatever it may be. And I think I see it a hole right there. Looks like a piece of tin foil. Yep, that's a piece of can of some nature. Yep. All right. Which we're thinking, but you don't know what it's gonna be till you uncover the hole. And I think I proved that just a little while ago. So, Xterra Pro hits on the goal, but it hits it on the pull tab signal. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna try to prove a point here, if that's the case. I just put this plug over, it's giving me a wonky signal. But now the plug is giving me 16. 16 on the VDI, so let's see what this is going to be. And sure enough, here we go again. A low signal is going to give us another piece of can. Yep, a low signal is going to give us a piece of can right here. That's what it is. All right, so I'm not liking the low signals on this machine because it's not the... Oh, gold comes in the in the low signal. No, it doesn't. Not on this machine. I haven't tested 18 or 24 yet. Um, but I've tested several pieces of 10 and 14, and they come up with almost an equal range. 28, 30, 31, and every now and then you beat the tail 40. 
so there's a lot more experimentation that needs to be done with these machines besides besides somebody hauling Twenty-eight, twenty-nine, solid two numbers so let's see what this is going to be maybe a piece of can depends on what shape it's in because this could be folded up balled up cut up or a certain size but it depends and look there we go we roll it over and we'll see it's right here and we got a nickel that fell out the plug so it's a nickel and that's what it is and what they gave me they gave me a 28 so that's in that wonky nickel range a little bit higher than that nickel range that's just about where that goal was at so it ain't far off so with the xterra pro you might be digging up a nickel and when you get it out the hole it might be a piece of 10k gold so there ain't no telling i totally wasn't was not expecting it to be a, a little ring but that's what it was okay next thing all right i just stood up turn around this is my plug i just put back in from my little piece of can or my nickel just saying and i'm in an 84 85 right here next to it this sound like it might be kind of shallow because it's real real loud and it looks like it might be kind of a, a decent size too yep and it is it's just another piece of can i'm on a little bit on the sideline of the ball field so that's what it is it's a piece of can but look how look how bad it deteriorated that is it's just it's just falling apart so it's it's toast okay we'll get the mud off this thing and we'll get it in the pouch and we'll get on to the next signal all right nice wheel We'll roll the dice on this one too. 26 to 30, 26 to 36. Could be that nickel, could be a can. The signals out here are crazy, man. The density of the ground, how wet it is, the type of dirt. There's regular brittle dirt, there's sand, there's clay, there's mulch dirt, there's all kind of stuff out here. So it, it depends on, on what layer it's hitting that it's right here on this side if I can get down to it right there this is some sticky stuff it's right here toward the back get off right here off this side still there and this is us right here all right piece of aluminum more chewed up can that rings up that rang up a 26 so it's you know a piece of tin can comes up in the aluminum range on the xterra as well so, so it might mess you up but uh man dig those signals you gotta you gotta listen for the purity though you get you might have different numbers but it'll just be a pure tone not something all broken and some of these signals are some a little broken when you find trash like can slaw or something like that so that's the, the thing that really throws you off okay on the next signal okay this one could be a could be a piece of can but I've had stranger things happen out here in this field, I'll tell you. I've dug some things out here. You think it was one thing, it was completely something opposite. And wonder what it had the tone it had. 
So, but it could be a nickel, could be a penny, could be a. It ain't gonna be a zinc. There's something down there a little ways. I know what a zinc sounds like. This is not gonna be a zinc, but it's something either very small or very deep. Nine out of ten, it's gonna be very deep. And that clay is just so bad right here on this side of the field. I mean, that's bad clay too. That's some sticky stuff. Get off. I believe that's gonna be a little bit deeper than we want to venture. And I know there's some really good stuff out here that's probably really deep. But we're gonna not go that deep with this clay because that's just gonna be too much pasty stuff to get into. So this signal is gonna be left alone and we'll move on to the next one. This signal's giving me an, an iron tone. And the way it sounds, it might be another one of those little rivets for the for the garments, chin strap, helmet strap, or whatever it may be. Let's go ahead and pop this, and we'll see. It sounds like it may be a little bit deep, because it don't sound like it's too big. So it may not be that deep. Oh, look right there. You see what I'm saying about these crazy signals on the nickel? And that's what it is. It's a nickel, but it's in retarded signals. It's crazy signals. It's right there on the side, and that's what it was. It was up on the edge. You can see the impression in the side. Sure enough. But it was a nickel. And look, the crust is coming off of it a little bit. A little more crust. You know, you take these uh, nickels and you soak them in white vinegar. A little bit of hot water. Or, uh, or white vinegar and warm it in the microwave and get it hot. Throw them in there. And if you run it with an ultrasonic cleaner, it does even better. It brings them things back to where they look like brand new. But it's real aggressive because uh, if you got a coin you want to save that's very old or pitted, don't put it in that white vinegar because all you're going to have left is metal. Everything in the pit's going to be gone. So if you got copper or something you're going to throw in there, you're just going to have a rough copper. You'll probably still see some details, but it'll be a rough copper. So okay but see that's what i was saying that crazy signal right there sound like some piece of soda can and then sure enough it was a nickel on to the next okay we got another signal like that that's gonna give me a it's all over the place so we're gonna go ahead and pop that one too because that'll probably be a, a nickel as well man the dirt don't want to give me back my shovel But you can't keep it dirt. I need you to cut more of the plug. I mean, that's what it is. So whatever this is, it's still in the hole. Okay. Let's, let's try to get a hit on this thing. I can get a hit on it, I'll get it out of there. But if I get down that little way, then I'll get a hit. I'm not gonna go too deep with it. sure I say that according to the pinpoint it's not in the plug but man this thing is like disgusting okay so it's gonna be another one of those I'm just gonna leave it be because it's gonna be deeper than what I want it to be um 
I don't like digging this deep in this clay. It's just too much to deal with. Even if it's, it's a nickel or something that can be there, it don't matter. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spend that kind of time digging. So I'll just hit it another time when the clay dries a little more. It'll be drier ground in the hotter summer. Okay, so I revisited this hole I just turned down and I was off. This is my plug right here. So I was off by a little bit. So after I got the plug back in and I swung back over it, I was off. So I got like an aluminum seal at the top of a, a plastic soda bottle top. No, this is the this is the plastic on the inside of the soda bottle top. Seven up. That's what it is, seven up bottle top. It still got some scraps of it down there, but I'm not gonna dig it up. Okay. So that's what it was. So I did recover this signal. It wasn't something that was real deep. I was just off to the side of my hole a little bit. My bad. Somebody tried probably dropped a penny. 7172 repeatable on the surface. I think it's on the surface. Better be on the surface for all that noise. What could this be? My look, it's a probably piece of tin can. This thing's screaming, boy, I tell you. off just a little bit probably give it a little off oh yeah right there it's a piece of uh, I don't know it's a tag a piece of aluminum tag I don't know if it's SCH whatever scotch beats me Maybe off of some type of lawnmower equipment or something like that. No telling. Okay. Not anything good. It's shiny though. At least it's shiny. Alright, on to the next one. Hoping for a better target. Okay, so. Fifty. Fifty-two to fifty-nine at a high I don't know what this could be probably a piece of can something to give me that that medium range a few squeaky high tone <clears throat> it's pretty banging though Just don't know what it could be it's still in the hole yep fingers crossed people fingers crossed It's not very big. Now, I say that, but I feel it right there. There's something in here. Yep, and that's what it is. It's another 7 up bottle top. An old twist top off a 7 up bottle. The gold glass uh, 16 to 20 ounces from the, in the 80s. All right. It's gold colored, but it ain't gold. Okay. So we're like to come across another 24 to 28. So I think that might be another, might be a nickel. 20, 24 to 28, though. She's staying. 
pretty solid in that in that range. We'll have to hit that one next. I got a target right next to me on the right side. Hitting a double tone. Repeatable. Signals everywhere. Signals everywhere. Been out in this field. This is the 15th time hunting this field. And it's still loaded with signals in this place. I'm just taking my time. And look right here. There we go. And we got another nickel. I'm just taking my time hunting this place. I didn't, man, I didn't pull so much stuff out of this, this football field. It is just unbelievable. You wouldn't think all that stuff would come out of one football field. Not right now, but whenever I get through hunting this field and I don't get it hardly any more targets, I'm gonna lay everything else out, every, everything out. I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a complete wrap up video of all the silver. Six rings then pulled out of this field so far. One chain, the chain was a fake. It was no good. So, let's see. So whatever this is, it's ringing a 71. And it's right here. Let's see what this could be. And there's the other piece. It's the other half of the tag. Okay. Let me see here. All right. Let me reach back in the pouch and see if I can find that piece of tag right here. And there you go. Both pieces of tag in different locations of the field. One was over that way, probably about 30, 40 feet, and the other one was right here where I'm at. So, yeah, S-C-H-U-T-T, -T. shut, scut, sh scut, well, I don't know whatever that is, but, ain't that crazy? And they cut it right between the two letters. It's nuts. All right. Well, both parts of that trash is off the field. Get that out the way. And they were both about the same depth. So they must have been... I know they were parted about a lawnmower on the same day, same time. But they must have been down here the same amount of years together. So, okay. On to the next signal. Okay. Thirty-eight to forty-one. Straight up in that pull tab area. Can we get lucky on another piece of gold? Another type of ring? Or something? I know when I hunted this field before, I walked around like a chicken in circles. And now we're getting 50 to 65. And I hunted this field kind of fast to find all the targets that I found so far. Now I'm kind of gridding this thing out and seeing where it takes me. And so far, so good. Okay, it's still up in here. What is that? Well, it looked like it was shallow in the plug because I can't I'm pushing it through yeah 
I think I pushed it through to the other side. No. It's small, whatever it is, but it's up in this plug. That's a tree root. That's a grass root. Not tree root, grass root. Well, it's up in this thing. I think he might be running away from me or something. Cause this is here. I just don't see it. This is getting retarded, man. This is getting crazy. Did I knock it out the hole? Or was I just that far off? I might have been that far off. That's kind of embarrassing, man. What is it? Okay, I'll get back to y'all in just a minute. Okay, so after all that, this is one little bitty piece of a zipper pull that was giving me a fit. I couldn't find it in the dirt. And when I'm digging through the plug, it fell through the plug and it was in, in the ground. So it just kept on, it just didn't want to be found. But that's all it was, piece of zipper pull. I wasn't off, it just fell through the plug. The more I dug, the more it went through. Okay, not too far from my other hole. That sounds like something that might be on top. Might be another piece of that zipper pull. They got a whack my lawnmower. It's on the surface. Let's see what we can come up with. Slightly off. It's right here on the. Uh, that's right here. This piece of can slaw. Got a blue one can, got a white ball on more. Okay. And it is to the church bells, 6 p.m. Okay, on to the next target. All right, so come across another one. Solid 25, 26. This could be another, could be a nickel that's laying flat. The hubbing we had was on edge. So I guess when it, when it's in the dirt and it's sinking, I guess you can picture it like falling through the air, tumbling, but it just takes decades for the tumble to happen instead of like just instantly through the air. Okay, so we got a 21 in the plug. Okay, right here on this side. And that's our, look right there. That's our nickel, we must have been sitting flat. Uh, to have a good solid signal, so let's see. Solid signal. It's the same out the hole either way, whether it's flat, it's a 26. But, uh, yep, 
that's it that's our nickel so like i said that one must have been sitting flat to uh give us a straight up a straight up number get our plug put back in all nice and pretty yep if you want a decent shovel the uh the two shovels on predator tools that has this same pitch is the hurricane and the phoenix except the hurricane is like three inches longer and it has a t-style handle it has a t-style handle right here instead of the d handle to where it has the loop and the d across but uh has the same has the same bowl type you see it both ways and uh it just makes the perfect plug i've watched uh pastry super freak demo these shovels out and uh that sold me on it just by seeing what it did on on the, on the video so but we're gonna keep on searching to our next signal hopefully our next signal is a good one Seventy-five, seventy-six. I was thinking it was going to take longer. I was about to cut the camera. Seventy-five, seventy-six. So this might be a copper penny. It usually fall up in that range. I had no. Uh, I don't think I got a copper penny yet out here today. Oh, come on! Get out of the hole, plug. Seventy-six in the plug out the hole. Oh look, and we got something right here in the side. And that's it right there. That's a copper penny. 70, 75, 76. Yep. I don't I can see the date, but I can't make it out. My eyes are horrible. Nah, I can't make it out. But copper penny. 7576 on the VDR. All right, on to the next hole. Okay, we just stood up. Our plug is like right here. And we just stood up. So we're getting that 24. Yeah, 24, 26. So it's probably another nickel. Yeah, we good. It's probably laying flat, but it may be some other type material in the vicinity let's give men off signal because i've even dug some of these nickels and they gave me an iron tone so we'll pop it out we're still in a hole but we're a little bit deeper Ooh, we seem to be way deeper than what we want to be Oh, actually not, because look, I flipped my plug, and look, my nickel fell out of the plug. It fell out of the plug, right there. I just saw it. So that'll save me from doing some digging. Okay. That's another five cents to add to the piggy bank. That's some nice old nickels. I don't know the year on that one. I can't see it. Uh, sun's not out. And the glare got me, so... Don't get old, people. Your eyesight goes bad. Okay, on the next one. So we didn't have to go far. 48, 50, 55. Okay, so that puts us about center. Right here. 48 to 55. And look, there's a 3738 right next door. Oh. 
And now it's a 31-33 in the plug. And we're getting a little bit better with our pinpointing. And we have a piece, a little small piece of chewed up can. Okay, and it's probably what our next target's going to be too. Probably been a little piece of chewed up can. Because uh, it seems to be the norm. Once a lawnmower hits a piece, it just scatters it everywhere. So, while I got the camera on, we're going to see. Because it's right. See how that signal just stays solid and it doesn't clip off? That may be a nickel. I don't know. Give me a 36. 36 or 40. It's still up in that pull tab range, but it's a clean signal. It's not clippy. Not some crazy, you know, off metal or something. 36, 38 out hole. Gotta fix my knee pad. Okay, so we're right here somewhere. We're in this in this hunk of clump, and it is. See, it's another. That's what it is. The pull tab, but it's the pull tab probably off the can or the piece of can that got white with a lawnmower, which was the last signal. So. But I saw that little bit of gold coming through, and I was thinking it was another ring. Man, but it was a pull tab. But wishful thinking, hey, if you, you know, you hit one goal, you'll probably hit another. This is awesome, though, man. You know, if they got one ring, they're bound to have more. And so far, there's been six. I, I done took off this field. Every piece of jewelry I've found, I've only returned one piece. And that was because the little guy told me he lost it and he requested it back. And I had no problem giving it back to him. Very special to him. So. See that right there? That's a signal here, a signal here, and a signal there. That's a piece of cut up can, not even digging those signals. See how it's two tone in me, 59, 61. This is probably a piece of cut can as well. This was the trashy corner of the field, because every time I come into this corner of the field, I'd always get some, some whacked out tones. And some of it was a bunch of iron, so I think this was a way back in the day might have been a trash in the area or something. Now I'm getting a 5861 with the hole open, higher tone. It's right here. So it's in this clump. And we got another ginormous pull tab. All right, that must have been a diet Pepsi. You know, you know, diet. Diet drinks are not too, uh, diet drinks don't make you lose weight. If you ever think a diet drink makes you lose weight, you've been lied to. It's not. Aspartame puts on belly fat. Aspartame is fake sugar. Puts on belly fat. Don't ever trust it. It's not there for your health, people. Anything that says artificial on the can should be left alone forever. So. 
gonna fix my shirt and my belt's giving me a fit okay catch you on the next hole now this is gonna be either something really good or something really bad it sounds like a quarter actually because it's giving me the 88 89 but let me check the surface first because it's pretty high ringing a quarter on the flat if it's a quarter on the flat it's gonna be a pretty hard beeper and it could okay quarter on the flat quarter on the flat's a good tone so let's see where we at The way that this shovel is shaped makes a perfect plug, but I might be shaving off the edge. Nope, it's in the plug. Now it's giving me a straight 89. So it's going to be a, a high banging quarter. I'm thinking. But it's up in the middle of this plug. So, let me bust her open. Oh, look, I see her right there. She's popping out. Okay. That's a high banging quarter. It's an eagle quarter. I don't see. Yeah, I see what the year is, but I don't see the year. I can't make it out. It's too dumb. Eyeballs are bad. I'm sure it's in the 70s or 80s or something like that as old as it looks and then voila plug back in the hole with no problem on to the next okay so we got two signals here i got a signal here and i got a signal here so we're gonna get we're gonna knock this one out first i think this one's a piece of tin can for the low tone it's giving me into the 14 so we'll open her up and see what it is is that a piece of stainless okay still down in the hole Okay, it's right back here. Maybe we can get under it. Yep, okay, so it's in this clump of whatever. I think it's in that clump of whatever. Nope, it's stuck to the back of the digger in right here. It's an old, old piece of pull tab. It was stuck to the back of the shovel. All right, that one goes in the trash pouch. We'll throw away all our trash finds on the way out. Cover our hole up. And we'll move on to the next signal right next door. So. Dirt off of that thing. I'll tell you what, the original sheath that come with this this digger was a black nylon like a cloth and I then split that thing open and got it held together with about eight layers of duct tape so Beep, 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 beep. 
I don't know what that is. It's a pretty good size. But we're gonna see. Let's, let's make a little bit of a. Let's let's check something real quick. Okay, so we're gonna zoom with Target Two here. I just had to change the battery; it died on me. <coughs> so I don't know what that's gonna be, but it seems like a fairly good sized target. Um, <coughs> it's widespread. Maybe just pieces of can slaw. I'm gonna take a little bit of a. A honk on this thing and see. Roll that plug out of there. Okay, there's a there's a piece of iron in this thing. <clears throat> Try to locate it up in here, but I don't know if I want to break into this. There's something right there. Okay. There's something right here. That's a it's a copper rivet. That's an old type of rivet that you put in a piece of leather and punch it and smash it. That's what that is. Okay. Copper rivet. All right. We'll get our pieces of dirt put back on the bottom of this clump so we can close it back up properly. Okay, just like that. A copper rivet. Off of some garment or something like that. Uh, somebody was doing leather work, might have had it in the pocket and ended up losing it out here. That's, that's odd. A copper rivet. A little bit of mud off the shovel again real quick. That junk off of there. Alright, we'll catch you on the next hole. Okay, so it seems like we Yeah. It might be another nickel, but at first it was giving me in the 70s like a copper penny. So let's, let's try it out. Let's see what we can retrieve for our next reward. Okay. So got something in the in the plug I hope it's not can right there right here copper penny all day long I was off a little bit but it was still in the plug so another good old copper penny this one right here, what is this? Oh, the other day I did have a, my second wheat scent. I didn't know it till I got home. Um, but I can't tell what's on the back of this one too. I don't know if that's the memorial or what. It's not a memorial on the back of this penny. It's a penny. Oh, it's a wheat scent. Okay, I see the little wheat scents on the side. Okay. I don't see the year. But it's another wheat scent. Okay. Good deal. I'll take a wheat scent. That's the third one off this off this field. So it's gotta be in the 50s. 51, 52, 53. Something like that. Because the other one I have with the 51 and the 52. 
Oh, somewhere up in that neighborhood. All right. That one gave me a kind of an off signal. It wasn't in the 70s. But close enough for a cigar. For sure. I know, I'm hoping for a signal soon. I left the camera on. I get this, knock this back to 18. I'm getting these wonky signals. Not too far from the power line, so I might be getting a little EMI. So we're getting, what is that? Okay, nothing right there. 28.30 into the 41, 42. So this could be another nickel. But as long as it's not trash, I'll take it. Which I'll hear this. There's very little trash on the field itself. The sideline says more. 41 with the hole open. The sidelines have more trash, but. Okay, what we got right here? Oh, we got another one of those little, another one of those little rivets on a football helmet strap or something. Okay, that's what that is. All right, thought it was kind of a janky signal. Okay, catch you on the next one. All right, we're gonna try for another one. Might be another nickel right here. It's giving that 28 to 34. Kind of off tone, though. It could be a piece of can. I mean, we have we have had a couple of pull tabs out here today, which was some very old stuff. Nothing on modern trash. At least 30 years old. Okay, 26, 26 uncovered. It's right here, it ain't far. Let's keep digging. You know, you got to open these things slow, you know, because you're like, ah, okay, so there it is. Look at that beautiful impression on that nickel. All right, so we got us another nickel at the bottom of the hole. Right there. All right, good deal. I'm good with a nickel. Nickel's a decent find, you know. I mean, pennies are okay if the year is old enough. But nickel's a decent find, you know. I'm good with that. I'd much rather find a nickel than find a piece of can. Okay. Catch you on the next hole. Okay, so we're hitting on something right here, kind of. 24. Give me a little bit of high low. Oh, drop my digger. Come here. Yeah, give me a little bit of high and low tone. So we'll see what we gonna get right here. Might be something small, might be some kind of deep. Seems like the tone is hard, hard to hard to capture. Uh, 22 to 18 to 22 out the hole. That's right here. Might be another nickel. And yep, that's what it is. It is another nickel. That's a nice old Jefferson nickel. 
right there bottom of the hole and easy peasy pop it open get what you need and put it back yep i like making all these coin withdrawals this free atm football field out here beautiful 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 so this could be another nickel on the edge so we're gonna try that signal it sound like it's kind of deep but I'm willing to pop it open okay 65 with the hole open now 65 Hmm. Things sound like gonna be a lot either off to the side or deeper than what I'm thinking it's gonna be. Oh hush. Okay. Alright, we'll get a hit on it. It's right here. And it is a red pull tab. That deep. That makes no sense. Red pull tab. Silver on one side, red on the other. Okay. Catch you on the next one. Okay, so we hitting on a... Uh, 48 to 61. Okay. Seems like a good dialed in tone kind of iffy though know. it might be a piece of can because it's got some couple tones in the signal 48 to 61 come on turn over okay 32 out the hole seem like it might be kind of might be kind of big Yeah, and that's what it is. It's kind of big. A piece of aluminum. Right here. Yep, piece of aluminum can. Kind of big. Fingers crossed. Wish we're thinking. We'll get another ring out here eventually. Okay, so we got 80, 83. Yeah, that double squeaky tone, 8083. That usually means silver. So, keep our fingers crossed. I'm not yet found a silver ring, on, a legitimate silver ring on this field. I found a bunch of silver, and I found rings. So this could be the quarter, dime, or something silver. Or a silver quarter or a silver dime. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Oh, we got something kind of big right there. What is that? It might be a piece of soda can or something. With a high banging tone. No, it's definitely not silver. It's like a piece of aluminum strap. Some kind of aluminum metal. Yep. So it comes with some kind of a aluminum flashing or something like that. 
that give me that if it gives me that signal like some kind of aluminum stripping or something you know, window window frame or something like that piece of it uh, what you gonna do okay <laughs> All right, so we're in that 27, 28, the 38. So it could be another nickel. We'll see. It's kind of it's kind of throwed off signal a little bit. Okay, it's uh, not giving me much of signal down the hole. But it is a signal. And it's in this little clump. So and I think it's gonna be Yep, it's gonna be more aluminum can shrapnel from a soda can. Okay. Aluminum can, soda can, soda can. Next. Just I can about guarantee you. It, you hear it clippy? Chip, 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 chip. I about guarantee you that's gonna be a piece of soda can. Yeah, Coil falling, falling on the ground as I'm pushing it to the ground, walking around. Forty-nine with the hole open. Let's see here. Might be another piece of soda can. Yeah, there's like some kind of hefty right there. No, actually look, it's not. It's right here, it's a nickel. You see how wonky that thing was? Oh, and that's why, okay. Well, it's flat on two edges and it's curved. And you see it right there, it's curved. It got whack by the lawnmower at some point in time 30 years ago um, yeah that's why because it's down there a good seven inches easy seven maybe eight inches but probably back in uh, in the 60s or something probably got hit by a lawnmower but I don't think they had gas powered lawnmowers back in the day okay so let's let's shoot for the 80s probably done because uh the 60s probably still had the old push one with the old rotary blades on it. But no telling. Alright, on the next hole. Let's discover it together. Thirty-four, thirty-seven on a surface. What could this be? Could it be a coin? Could it be a pendant? Could it be more buried can? Whatever it is, it's in this little, well, no, it's in this little clump. Right here. Seriously. Seriously. Okay. So we just got ourselves another ring right there. You see it? It's still gold colored. I don't know if it's gold. But it's pretty and it's shiny and it's cleaning up just right. It may be a junker. I don't know. I don't see no rust on it though. But it's got a little bitty. That looks like straight up gold. And what that gave me? Oh come on now. Don't be don't be crazy. 34 34 32 yep see the gold comes up in the pull tab range so that's got to be gold and see we discovered this together laying on the surface and not have swung over this place right here i bet i i bet i missed it about eight ten times on this this side of the field ain't that beautiful a little e yep it's a little e I don't see any markings in there. 
if there would be any. I wouldn't think it to be a junker. It's too shiny. It's, it polishes up too good. So I think it's just a little bit of stain. But I'm definitely going to have to ultrasonic clean it and wash it. And we'll see. Now it may be, I mean to me it looks gold. But it may be silver. Because I can't tell with the, the falling light out here. But it's got a little E on it. I don't know if y'all can see that little E, but it's got a little E. But it looks like gold. Well, it could be. Maybe tin. Might be filled. But another little piece. Beautiful. Love it. I'll take it all day long. Two rings in a day. Persistence pays off. I got off work at 4 o'clock. Let me see. 6.56, so 7 o'clock. I got out here probably about 425, 4, 420, 425. So, two and a half hours? Yep. All right. Let's move on to the next. Let's keep finding these little babies right here. I'll take this over coins any day. All right. So, we just popped another one right here right after the ring. This one's giving me a 1416. When I got it out the hole, it gave me like a 28. But... I kind of figured that more can junk so Fanta orange all right got that out the way on to the next we're in the 26 to 51 so this could be another nickel might be a might be a zinc penny most pennies off this field have been copper ain't been many very many zincs but you got to figure all the coins that I took off this field. Now it's sounding like stainless. Yep. So sounding like stainless. Give me a 65 chirpy on a stainless. I think that's what it may be. Something like back here on this side. Let's discover together. Oh yeah, it's another one of those. It's another one of those rivets or snaps off of a uh, chin strap or football helmet or something like that. I guess when they pop the strap, you know, on the chin strap, the, the button flies off. Yeah, these young boys out here kind of play like NFL, you know. Pull that strap off the chin real quick and breaks the strap breaks the snap off of the strap so I guess that's what keeps the uh, football equipment people in business so, okay let's go find another one okay we're here 38, 40, 44 now we're getting kind of a I turn sideways a little bit, now we're getting kind of a, a tin can type signal. I guess it depends on the angle of the the wave. <clears throat> but then again, strange thing to happen, could be a nickel. Still in the hole, 39. Right here in the in the bottom of the hole. Oh, that sounds like it's kind of big. That sounds like it's gonna be. Yep, aluminum can. I'm getting toward the, the goal line on the north end of the field. And usually when I get close to this end of the field, I start getting more trash. But it's 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 not by much. It just it varies a little bit in percentage. But it gives me just a little bit more trash than usual than the rest of the field would. Um. Okay. On to the next target. All right, we're going. We're getting a. We're getting a minus eighteen to. I tell you what, that's that's iron. I'm just going to bypass that. So, I'm not going to dig that iron. That's straight up iron right there. That's not a nickel iron. Seventy-four, seventy-eight, sixty-seven.
that's a deep copper penny all day long and we're going to pop this plug and retrieve our penny one penny closer to a million that we'll never see unless you work for it you really set your goals <clears throat> you can work towards them getting a million and it won't be too much longer I'm gonna prove that point and I'll just leave it at that okay so we got something right here it's in this little clump and it's sitting right here I just had it I just dropped it and it's just retrieved it retrieved it again so that's the head and that's the memorial so we have ourselves another copper penny ain't that cool okay cool deep copper penny in the 70s 76 78 every bit of almost as deep as the pin pointer nine inches ten inches easy sensitivity 18 on the extra it goes to 25 but this football field is surrounded by power lines all the way around because of the stadium light stadium style lights so it gives off an emi so i, I run it at 18 and it <clears throat> it retrieves everything that i need done so okay let's go to the next target okay we're going to ask ourselves can we get lucky again in that pull tab range right here on the top it's not a very big target so we need to ask ourselves We're not getting lucky again. We have a piece of that is a piece of chunk of something. I don't know if it's aluminum, like a chunk of aluminum. Actually, it's like a piece off of some type of jewelry that got totally wrecked. But it's a hard piece of aluminum. Yep. I'm gonna put it in a save pouch for now because it might be some other than aluminum <clears throat> and test it because even if that little fracture it is a piece of silver it's worth hanging on to but it gave me in the 3040s and didn't give me up to the silver numbers okay but that's the things you gotta look out for next hole now you gotta ask yourself what rings up at a solid 5960 We got a little bit of an off tone. It's kind of hard. It's a hard knock right there. That's a real strong tone. Okay. All right, so that's gonna be our center right here. Let's get our magic circle going. Oh, this is some sandy soil under here too. This is gonna be pretty good to dig. 59, 60, 61. Solid tone, no break. Fingers crossed. Now we 59, 60, 61. What could this be? Something up in the middle of this thing. All right, it wasn't that deep. Okay, something up in this clump. And it is a 
seriously all that noise all that noise for a zinc penny okay I'll accept it that's a lot of noise for a zinc penny all right we good stop let's get all some more sand put back in the hole so it don't look so obvious we'll get our plug put back in which way to go I think it went that way okay I'm good with a zinc penny. Penny's a penny. Press on. All right, so we got another double hit. We got... We got one right here that's a potential nickel. And we got... Another one that could be a zinc penny. So let's go ahead and get this one up. And we'll catch on the potential nickel after this one okay so it's gonna be a little deeper in the hole giving it to me right there nope it's not a penny it's a bottle cap all right that's to be expected there's a bottle cap as y'all can see it's starting to fall dark we almost out of light i'm out here a little bit later than what i should but it's okay <clears throat> it's nice and cool and breezy there's no mosquitoes it's probably 65 degrees it's nice and comfortable okay so that's our potential nickel right here we'll check that one and we might just wrap it up for the day and see oh come on play nice plug get out of the hole okay so we're at 21 out the hole and we're still in the plug Well, whatever it is up in there make it out the way up in this plug okay I just knocked it out it's right here in this clump and it is a piece of piece of can okay more junk all right so on that note we're gonna go ahead and end it on on that we are two rings heavy today and some change so we did great i mean with the considering the signals that i've been pulled off this field in the last 14 days of hunting um give me a second here I'll go ahead and get the shovel there, drop my glasses. I'm not a professional. So, all right, so we're going to go ahead and wrap it up for today. We're here, day 15 on the football field. So today was a very prosperous day. So we had this little ring here. This was our second one we found, and this was the first one. I don't know if that one's silver or gold. It's kind of hard to see the colorization, and I don't see a mark. It is some kind of, I'm hoping it's some kind of precious metal. Um, but we did get a bunch of uh, coins today. Out here again, on the football field, there is, uh, there's loads of stuff at this place, man. I'm, uh, I'm very grateful and very fortunate and I'm the only one that they allow to uh, hunt this area because um, it is not uh, 
it is not often that you get privileged to hunt an area like this and I tell you it's a uh, it's, it's definitely an honor and a privilege but um, but that's our wrap up for the day so this one's 10 karat gold we did see that inside the band it's got a mark this one right here I don't see it may be a blinger I don't know it's looked like it's kind of it's kind of got some little staining on it or whatever it's got a letter E on it but we got some change we got a few quarters we got a couple quarters a bunch of nickels pennies and dimes um, but this is day 15 so we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up on this note and uh, we might come out here again tomorrow we got Wednesday and Thursday no today's Wednesday so Thursday and Friday so we might come out here for the next two days and what I'm doing is I'm I'm gridding out this field before I was just walking in certain spots but now I'm walking in a straight line I'm trying to grid out and catch as much as I can uh, in straight patterns and it's starting to yield uh, pretty good because this is some stuff that I seem to have walked around and not caught before so by gridding out and here it is I'm starting to uh, I'm starting to pick up on some better some, some more stuff some good stuff so okay so uh, we'll, we'll catch you again probably tomorrow and Friday for days 16 and 17 on the football field but today wraps up day 15 thank you all for watching you all have a great day please like and share and subscribe tell all your friends